Oluruz andaydı. Tüm bu dövlağın Hi, hello. Um, ah, I haven't filmed anything in such a long time. Or like I filmed a lot, especially during 2023, but I haven't really like filmed myself at all. So this is interesting. Um, I am currently knitting a balaclava with some very red merino wool and yeah, it's beautiful. So I'm going to do this while talking. Um, this is a little note to myself, just to say that I moved to Berlin <laughs> after a year of being back in Europe. Um, I think the last time I found myself saying anything, it was when I was visiting my boyfriend in London. And since then, a lot of things have changed, I have to say. Um, I stayed in France for a bit. I found a job um, that I really enjoyed. And I was just moving around Europe a lot, um, going to yeah, Denmark, Germany, Sweden, the UK a lot. Um. Been to a lot of places it was a very like filled year with visiting friends and having friends over um i really invested in my friendship in 2023 it was also a lot of doubt whether it was external or internal a lot of um very great moments pretty important moments um, a lot of growth, a lot of coffee, <laughs> a lot of um, <laughs> being lost in life. So, yeah, now it's 2024 and it's grey outside, grey Berlin. I mean, it's January, so what can we do? That's just how it is here. <laughs> um, and yeah, I had Berlin in my mind for, like, I think it's when I was in Bangkok, so a while ago, a bit more than a year ago. and. I had Berlin in mind um, because I, I visited Berlin before and I really loved that city and I thought wow like it would be so cool to be part of this um, but I guess the opportunity never really presented itself and back when I was in Paris um, my boyfriend and I were already thinking of going somewhere together because we're just like besties and also a couple and we thought okay like we've been distance for the longest time so it would be cool to like actually live in the same place and we were thinking of several cities and yeah the city of berlin just like popped as the best for us because we really wanted to have a social life on our own and both find jobs that we would enjoy and he's german so it's like easy for him to get a job here and i thought that because berlin is a very creative place um I could find something to do also quite easily so I'm still figuring that part out <laughs> uh, I'm still figuring out like what to do I was of yeah to do a lot of photography creative work I don't want to stick to a full-time job I think the job that I had back in Paris was really good it was a really nice job I really wanted to work for an NGO so that was perfect I was working for um, yeah full-time as like a communication officer for an NGO and I met a lot of cool people, really like, yeah, really, really deeply kind people. 
but I feel like having a full-time job really kept me from having the energy to do something else like even knitting or you know organizing shoots or even making videos like I think I didn't make any video or like I didn't edit any long video for a year or so because I was so busy with that work and it took a lot of my energy which was cool because I invested in something else at that point but I feel like like here I would love to have the time to invest in myself a little more um, than last year basically so yeah that's trying to find a way to do this like I don't really want to settle for a full time not because I don't want to work or because I'm lazy or whatever but rather because I want to work in so many different things and working in one full-time position really keeps me away from doing all the other things that I want to do so I just end up a bit frustrated and then I want to leave but I'm like it's hard to leave because you need a financial support so yeah that's kind of where i'm at right now trying to find out how to balance all of those things and i would really love to meet a lot of cool artists and photographers in berlin uh, but any type of artists to be honest i just want to meet a community because being a photographer or having a passion like this can really isolate you a bit just because you do a lot of things on your own and I feel like it would be so great to just like share this with other people because I never really had that strong of a community because I didn't study anything related to photography I didn't study this at all so I don't really have that like circle of friends that are all like artists and I would love to have that <laughs> just to get some inspiration and had just share the love for that aspect of my life so that's why i'm in berlin um i love this place i love this city i already met a lot of amazing people yeah it's just really it has confirmed um that paris isn't for me i think um even though this is where i'm from euh, j'ai grandi à Paris, enfin j'ai grandi à Versailles, juste à côté de Paris, mais je pense pas que <rire> je pense pas que cette ville soit pour moi. Je pense que là, peut-être la mentalité, et la manière de voir les choses, ça fait ça à tout le monde. Je pense que quand on a grandi quelque part, on est juste peut-être moins inspiré par cet endroit. Et quand j'ai des amis qui viennent me rendre visite et qui viennent à Paris, ils sont en mode waouh, c'est incroyable et tout. Et je me dis c'est vrai que c'est incroyable, mais je pense que c'est pas c'est pas ce dont j'ai besoin maintenant dans ma vie. Moi j'ai un peu une euh, love-hate relationship avec Paris. J'adore cette ville, mais en fait, quand je suis là-bas, je vois que les côtés négatifs. Alors que quand je suis ici, je me rappelle que des côtés positifs de Paris. C'est magique, franchement. <rire> je sais pas pourquoi mon cerveau marche de cette façon-là. Je sais pas si d'autres personnes aussi euh, ont ça avec euh, enfin, les endroits d'où vous venez, quoi. So yes, Berlin has been great because it was really it is really different people are very different the city itself holds a lot of history which has been so intriguing to me i feel like berlin has always been a place that intrigued me so much like it feels a bit destroyed but that people took over to create beautiful things out of what was left and like the um, art and the I don't know, all the emotions and all the colors that came out of everything that happened here in the past decade has made it so interesting. I feel like the city is so interesting and I really want to make the most of it. And I think a good strategy, at least what I've seen so far, is if you plan on moving long term to Berlin, um, you can get a, a sublet um on the gigazult like this is one of the the app that we use basically to get those it's just people like either in the gig, like either in shared flats or um flats on your own we started with this to have a good like six month of being in um in a sublet just because it's easier because you don't have to buy everything you don't have to buy a table couch you don't have to do all of those things and it's much easier to get of course because it's like a small period of time and from April on, we'll have to find like a rather long-term rent where we'll have to buy like, you know, all the things that we need to live comfortably. This is quite a good mix because 
I think we also didn't want to like engage into a contract for a long time, for a long term flat um, without visiting the place. And having a sublet really like gives you the time that you would need to chill in Berlin and walk around, to be honest, like just walking around the neighborhoods, like knowing where I'd like to move. You know, I think that's really important because there is like shady areas in Berlin. That's that's fact. Like, yeah. <laughs> right now we're in Kreuzberg, which is a super nice area. Like I really like it. I would love to stay in Kreuzberg or in Prenzauberg or... Um, Nakon potentially, it was really great to basically just go around and be able to see the different areas and have a feeling for it because I think the location really plays a big role and especially in Berlin that's such like a cool and like vibrant city I think yeah, it's good to know where you're going <laughs> so I filmed a lot of little moments in the past month um, which has been super fun because my dad gave me um, a small camcorder, like a small camera that he had when he, like he bought it when I was a baby, I think, to like record um, like our holidays and things like this. It's a very, very small, like vintage oldie kind of camera and it's so cute. And yeah, um, I got it when I went home for Christmas and I filmed quite a lot of moments with it and it's been so fun to just document life here. Um, so yeah, I think. I'll edit some of those little like videos in just because I think it's really cute and really nice for me to have those memories um, all gathered somewhere. But this was nice and I have to get back to work now. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna put in some little clips of life and this baraklava is gonna come together quite soon, I think. I'm so excited. I love being a grandma, okay. Bye. Wait, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> oh my god. What are you doing?